you are limitless. You are limitless. You can achieve anything that you want. You can achieve your dream life. You can achieve anything that you want. Just like I am standing here in Australia across the globe and just living my dream life. You can because you are limitless. But we created all these limitations all along our lives and that makes our world so limited. So how can you beat that? and become limitless again. What are the two hacks to break free and to create the life that you desire? And finally, do what you love. That's what this video is all about. Make sure you stay till the end because there's some action steps for you. And I'm gonna go inside right now to be away from any distractions and birds and really tell you how to be limitless. If you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe to my channel right below that red little button because you don't want to miss any of my new videos to create the life that you desire. You are limitless. You are limitless. It's a basic fact. I want you to remember and repeat yourself from this moment forward. You are limitless. We are born limitless. Everything and anything is possible. But what happens along the way, life goes on, years go by, and we just get all these influences from outside, from our parents or teachers or the media, and our world becomes smaller and smaller and smaller and becomes more and more limited. That's what happens. Because think about it. When you're a child and you ask a child, what do you want to become later? It's like, oh, I want to be a stewardess and I want to be a pilot and I want to be... Anything at all is possible because you are limitless and anything at all is possible. But through the years, you know, we, we have events and, and things happen to us. Bad things happen to us, sad things happen to us, disappointments, emotional baggage, all of these things that make us think, oh, wait, this is not good. So I don't want to do that anymore. So I better stick to my comfort bubble. And sticking to your comfort bubble, your brain will think each time, oh, that's comfortable, so that's safe, so that's right. Whether it's safe, it's got to be the way to do it. It's got to be right. So your brain also thinks in that mode. And, and, and all in all, all of these things together make it that you stay and you like your comfort bubble. Because it's safe, because it feels right, because your brain tells you that it's right. Because that's the choice that your brain makes, that you make, and that you constantly, repeatedly make. So it's so hard to step out of that and realize, hey, I am limitless. You don't see that anymore. So it's not your fault. It's really normal. You just don't see it anymore because of everything that happens into life. But the basic fact remains you are limitless and the moment you think about that again and you start practicing the fact that you are limitless that's when shifts will happen that's when you can create growth and change see if you go back to your childhood maybe you were called the smart one and your brother or sister the stupid one or maybe you're the greatest athlete or piano player and you just want to stick up to that and you just you just constantly heard that maybe from your family or even from teachers and the reason you constantly hear that you start believing that you start internalizing that and so from then on you start thinking okay this is me this has got to be me and so you live up to that. But again, it just limits you. It limits you because you believe this is you. That's what you're expected to do. So that's the path you need to choose. But is it really you? Is it really you? The way other people perceive you, you are going to start perceiving yourself just like that. It's called self-image. A self-image is not the image you see in the mirror physically. It's the image you see of yourself in your mind. That's your self-image. And it's created by the beliefs that you attach to it. So how you see yourself is how you see yourself in your mind. 
and how you perceive yourself and that comes often from how you were perceived and called that and maybe you had nicknames like oh you're the smart ass or you're you know you're not good in in, in this or your your brother is so much better than you and, and you'll never make it and you'll never succeed and you know so you start believing that and you start perceiving that and it's the definition of others that you put on to yourself and that's what creates your self-image but it also limits 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 your world so going back to you are limitless is you have to start reframing your brain you have to hack your brain you have to start saying no i am limitless and this requires two things and the two things is one you have to have unwavering faith and trust in yourself faith trust belief in yourself name it what you like but you have to start building that trust again that you are limitless and that you can achieve the things that you desire and that feel good to you and the second thing is you have to put in the effort nothing comes just falling from the sky so yes you are limitless yes there are a zillion opportunities for you that you can choose from outside of your comfort bubble and you have to have the trust and the faith in yourself to do it and put in the effort it's not just yeah i can be a magician yeah i can be the best athlete yeah i'm a really good basketball player yeah i'm a really good entrepreneur and i'm going to start my own business and succeed or I'm going to write my book. It's all good. But then you have to take the steps and put in the effort to do it. So remember, you are limitless. Right? Say it, repeat it, and start taking action towards it. See opportunities and no longer limitations. Your action steps are number one. Make sure you comment right below to tell us what you've learned what are your takeaways what will you implement how can you be limitless and what are the next actionable steps that you are going to take even if tiny wee very small what are you going to do number two if you still feel stuck in your life and you don't know what to do and you need the steps to get unstuck and create the life that you desire finally a life with more meaning and fulfillment make sure you grab that free training in the link right below in the description to get unstuck and number three make sure you watch the next video which is going to show up right here and you continue creating those steps to create the life you desire because you deserve it